Right, so four years ago, I interviewed this man with another man who's sadly no longer with us. With us. He's not dead, he's just working <laughs> somewhere else. Um, <laughs> Good start. Uh, yeah, so I'm here with... <laughs> Here I'm, I'm here with Matt Barbet. He done Channel Five. He done everything basically. His whole CV is on the last video that I did with him. Um, he's still looking for work after Sunday, aren't you? Yes, yeah. yes, indeed. So if, if, if Talk TV want him, then well, I'm not a bit, well, we'll see. <laughs> Certainly not GB News. So <laughs> loads of people have done that. Yeah, I know. More fool them. Yeah. Um, that's another subject, Matt. It for is. Another day. It is. It is. So Tour Britain started on sat last Sunday. It did. To a ropey start due to traditional Scottish inclement weather. Oh, I, look, I wouldn't say it was a ropey start. The weather, the weather the wasn't weather. ideal, mm. um, but the landscape in Aberdeenshire was absolutely stunning. Oh, it's a beautiful The town. racing up to Glen Shee was amazing. So yeah, relatively ropey weather-wise, but racing-wise, it had everything. Oh yeah, I'm still shaking, even though I've already done this four years ago. Well, we were in somewhere different, weren't we, four years ago, to be fair? We were, we were like literally about three metres from here. Well, the, we were to, it was over there. I'm the sure. stage four years ago, Daniel, was West Bridgeford to Mansfield, which is what yeah. we're doing today. Slightly, Again. slightly different route today. And it's not raining. Yeah, let me hold that because you're, um, you're not pointing in the right place. I'm too shaky. <laughs> but the weather was similar. And I tell you what, what is interesting is four years ago, do you remember who won? It was a bold headed chap. Yeah, that's not narrowing it down, is it? No, not really. Ian Stannard. Yes. Ian Stannard, forgot, four I mean, years ago, bolted out the pack with Niels Pollitt, who is here again. Stannard since retired, by the way, mm. and he won. But Niels Pollitt went on the attack with him, and he is back at the race today. And he's German national champion, so easy to spot. So, could history repeat itself? Could we see him attacking, do you think, from the bunch? I'm interviewing you now. I know, I know yeah, I suppose I come like on ITV4. Um, he could do, but I know Team D DSM and Ineos Grenadiers are doing incredibly well this race. Yeah. I know, um, was it Team DSM that got the sprint lead yesterday, I believe? Or was it Ineos? Do you know what? I am not entirely sure I'll have to check because oh. it's, it's been changing a lot recently. Ineos did ride a good race yesterday, but Tom Pidcock was just pipped at the line by uh, uh, Gonzalez Serrano. Um, so, and he's in the lead, so I actually think Movistar we have only got four riders left in the race. They're yes. going to have to work hard to control things. Anyway, here. Yeah, can, yeah thank you. Because yeah, because I know there was a nasty crash. One of them, had, one of the riders had to go to hospital. Yeah. But he's okay now. But he's not taking part in any more of the tour. No, obviously. no. There's, there's been a few, there's been a few riders pull out. Um, Harry Tanfield again, uh, who was racing for Rival Weld Tight, um, Yorkshireman. But the day before yesterday's stage in Yorkshire, which is the first time we've been back to Yorkshire in 13 years. He uh, hit a motor and broke his hand, so not only ruined his race, but ruined the rest of his season. So, yeah, it's it's a tough sport, you know. It's it not just is, it's yeah. not just hard in terms of exertion. There's all sorts of things to contend with the weather and vehicles and, and all that kind of things. It's, it's it's why we love it. It's, yeah, the, it's, 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 what, it's really it's, yeah. I mean, I've been watching the coverage, and I know Pippa's floating somewhere. Pippa's around somewhere. She's somewhere, yeah. so I'll grab her. She'll be in a separate video once I can find her. And she's had a coffee, she's somewhere. Yeah. But no, it's the race isn't it? I mean, I don't really understand how the points work. But it can get, because you have the sprint, you have King of the Mountain. Yeah. You have stage. Yes, that's the points jersey. Let me explain. So on each stage you'll have climbs, which are categorised. And the first person at the top of those categorised climbs will get points. If it's a first cat climb, they get more points. If it's a third cat climb, slightly less. But that's how you win the, the, the climbing jersey, Skoda King of the Mountains jersey. Which I think you can see behind us, that's the green one, isn't it? That's the green one. The green one's the King of the Mountain one, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, so the, the white one, sportsbreaks.com jersey, is the sprints jersey. It works in the same way, usually two or three sprints on each stage. Whoever gets the points there, gets the most of them, they get the jersey. The points jersey, which is the blue one, that's the most consistent rider. So that depends on when they cross the line at the end of each stage. So you know, if you're if you're finishing the top ten every day, you might not have to win a stage. You might have to get not get any points for the sprints. But if you're the most consistent, that's how you get the points jersey. And then of course the red jersey is the HFL leaders jersey, which is a, a general classification. And do you reckon we should probably get a gentleman who gate crashed the interview four years ago? Come on, Paddy. Sorry, I'm busy. Just got we're on here. So our producer, Paddy. Unfortunately, Daniel works solo on this, but um, we we have a producer. Paddy, who's uh, quite a fierce Irish and keeps on our toes, um, tells us when to get up, when to go to bed, what we're allowed to drink, what we're allowed to eat, all that kind of thing. You're allowed to talk to, can we phone home? No, not today. That sort of thing. So yeah, he, he, he rules the roost, Daniel. He does. Have, have you done much cycling whilst you've been up doing the tour this year? 
Do you know what? It's disappointing. You remember last time we spoke, I would always have my road bike with me uh, and yeah. I'd go riding in between the stages and, uh, and i keep, keep fit. This time, for the first time, in something like eight years of doing this, um, yeah, the cable guys just got to go no, in front go of your on. shot. Go, go on. on, go, go on. on, Martin. It's only YouTube. There you go. I'm, I'm not as professional as RTV. Right. There you go, look at this. So, um, this I'm time, actually I'm, now getting in the way of your broadcast. No, you're all right. <laughs> this time, I've only brought my Brompton. So just a pooping around, unfortunately no no proper riding. But you know, it's better than nothing. It is, I mean, I'm looking at getting um, one of the assisted e-bikes next week. Because I'm not, I've seen the road, the cycle bikes and I'm like, too much effort. Start, if I start easy and then I could progress onto the road, the, the race bike that they have here. Yeah, totally, why not? I think it, as long as you start somewhere, that's the main thing with cycling, an e-bike or you know, maybe just a little town bike and just get up and running and then... Even Bromptons are good for that. Yeah, but Bromptons are fantastic. You can race on Bromptons. David Miller's knocking about it. He races on his. But look, however you start, whatever bike you, you begin on, just do it. Just get out there, ride, and then you never know. The sky's the limit. And I'm sure if you go to the British Cycling website, you'll find cycle clubs and... Tons of that stuff. Everything. So I'll put a link to British Cycle Clubs in the... What's it called? Description box below. Yeah. Um, and they have loads of information about cycling well, that's you'll spend you'll spend all your money on it though and this is the thing once you start buying nice bikes it's hard to stop well i think i'm tiring this i think it's 75 pound a month oh worth a go worth the go why not is he still is he pretending to be busy paddy no he just he, 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 he actually, he actually we, is we, really are, busy. We, we are doing paid work daniel so i really better get on with it unfortunately so i, I think i need to let you go you do because you've got rehearsals please I'm, I'm concerning i don't have him telling me to wind up but I've got Matt instead telling me to wind up. He, he's doing his paid job. He, <laughs> he, he trusts me to know when I've he's got to do back, mine. My YouTube channel. YouTube. Yeah, come yeah, in, Paddy. Come on, Paddy. Yeah, I just, I, I, Daniel, I just I, I do don't the have socials. Wendy Miller. Just do the socials. What are your socials, Matt? <laughs> come on, Matt. What are your socials? I'm surprised you didn't know already. Kind of a big deal on there. Okay. Well, how many Instagram accounts have you got? I've got several actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way to do it. That's the way to get more followers. Follow, Just Matt, more Bar accounts. follow Matt Barbet on Twitter. It's at Matt Barbet. Yeah. Uh, Instagram, do you have a public one? I do, at Matt Barbet and at Home Roads is my cycling one. Right, go and give him a follow and tell him and, and comment. When you follow him, comment Banana Yazoo. <laughs> comment that. Hashtag. <laughs> we'll get that trending, I'm sure. Hashtag Banana Yazoo. Thank anyway, you. Matt, thank you, thank you again. Pleasure. It's been four years too long. Good to see you again. I'm going to watch. When do you go live? What oh. time? Very soon, actually, about 20 minutes. We better get ready. Can I stick around and watch all our Yeah, yeah, of course you can. Right, I've got to shut up because I don't want to get told off by Paddy. All right, cheers, cheers Daniel. Matt. Thank see you very later. much. So that was that. What? Sorry. Carry on. So, so that was Matt Barbet. He was from ITV Sports. He's been he's doing the coverage along with Pippa York. Uh, they are coming along. Pippa's already here, so we're just waiting on that. They're going live in about 20 minutes. Um, know some of the guys from four years ago, so we're just going to see what happens. Uh, we're going to watch their broadcast from behind, so behind the scenes broadcast, and then we'll take it from there. There's loads to do here today, absolutely loads. But no, that was Matt Barbet of ITV Sport.